MLB The Show's coverage of Major League now, Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Houston Astros and the Toronto Blue Jays. Here's Michael Brantley, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Line towards center field. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. So the Astros put him in aboard to get the inning underway. Into the box now. Alex Bregman. Alex. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Scooped up. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. That is so up to the plate. Next the will be Jose base. Altuve. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Here's the one and one pitch. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And that's through a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he'll get in there safely. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, Jordan. So Alvarez. now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez fouled off. Here's the one two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Popped him up. Correa moving to his left. One away. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two -two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. He'll try it again, 3-2. and two. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And this will find the wall down near the 328 sign. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. No To the plate now to Oscar Hernandez. In there, one and two now. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Striding in for Houston, Yuli Gurriel. Yes, he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Pitch popped up. Tellens over to his left. Makes the play one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings in George Springer. This is on the ground over to first. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. 
Here's Carlos Correa now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Correa. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Bounce towards the second baseman. He's got it. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the bag. The right fielder. In now, Josh Reddick. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Next to bat for Toronto, Bo Bichette. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. Greinke ready now, the 1-1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The 1-2. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And it's a full count, okay. three and two to the Blue Jays' DH. Rendell Gritchick will be next. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. At the plate, Reese cut. McGuire. He'll get to take his first cuts Number here. 10. Bichette, base runner at first with one out. Yeah. Fastball in there, three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Over to Guriel for an inning-ending double play. Next up for the Strohs, Garrett Stubbs, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. The 1-1 home. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. One out now in the Houston third, and that brings in the left handed hitting outfielder Michael Brantley. Swing and a liner. And there are two away now. Digging in now, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. And that's taken up and in for ball two. Hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball. All even at two and two. Here it is. Third inning, no score to this point. Left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Digging in, Billy McKinney, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And he takes a cold strike, too. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And that's out number one. Now at the play, Kevin Biggio. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. The 1-1 home. 
Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Ready for another chance? Rowdy Tellers fly out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The ball and two strikes, here it is. That's lifted the other way out to left. Brantley on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding into the box, the Vladimir Guerrero the Jr. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Still one and two. Granky comes set. Here's the pitch. This is skied out toward right. Reddick is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Now at the plate, Jose Altuve. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Hernandez has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Again, a one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. The first paper. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Count even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And a little tapper here in front of the mound as this may work as a sacrifice. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Here's George Springer, the runner in scoring position with Sugan. George Springer. inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one team's been struggling on offense let your D work for you right here pound the zone into the corner and slicing foul ready with the payoff pitch here's a fly ball well hit and he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lourdes Gurriel, one for one, as he reached base with a double his first time up. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. Ball taken there, two and one now. Called strike two as he locks him up there.
Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Grounded weakly to the left. Bregman has it. And there's one away. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. One out, nobody on. Two and one. Three and one. And the count will be full. Now the payoff pitch home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. There to pull it in is Brantley, and there are two gone now. Two are gone now in the Blue Jays' half of the fourth. And in the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Brinke steps into his windup. Here's the 1 1. Lifted down the line and left. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 1 2. All two. I got to count two and two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Riding in, Carlos Correa. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Two balls and two strikes now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. So one away here with the bases now empty. That, and that brings up the former gold glover Josh Reddick. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. Three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Throw on to first, two gone. Into the box now. now Garrett Stubbs comes into this at bat Garrett. 0 for 1 in the ball game. A 1 1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Grounded up the first baseline. The 1 2. Offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Coming to the plate now, Randall Gritchick, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Now the one and one pitch. And it's fouled away. The one two is a breaking ball. He can't find the zone and it's even at two. Swing and a miss and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out one away. Now better. Stepping into the box. Reese McGuire. Even at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high drive to right center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now batting. The center fielder. Billy. Into the box. Billy McKinney. Just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, 
and then he throws a nasty change up away is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long or is he going to double up that's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now in now Kevin oh, Biggio he drew a base on balls his base first base. time up Kevin Biggio on the ground to the right side Altuve fields it cleanly off balance throw gets him nice play there as the side is retired So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate Michael Brantley he's working on a one for two game so far the one one home takes a pitch for strike number two rolled slowly down the third baseline but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two now the pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Giving chase is Hernandez. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. One away for the Astros here in the sixth. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. The one two. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. Hernandez is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Ready for another shot now. Jose Altuve. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. He'll get us going for the Jays in their half of the sixth. The 1-1. One, one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in the scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Three and two now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Line hard to center field. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Stepping in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Therefore, it is Springer, and he's got it for the first down. So a runner at first now with one away, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. There's a well hit ball out to right center field. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now that no field. Standing in now to Oscar Hernandez. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. On the ground to third. Bregman gloves it. Pro gets him. Two down. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Right. 
Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Springer giving chase. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And so he got him swinging. Jordan Alvarez was down for the first out in the seventh inning. Fouled away. No runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hit hard up the middle. Reined in. And the off-balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. At the plate, George Springer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. well below the knees laid off on the change up there I love the approach out on the mound everything's down in the zone as it should be but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone or do you just pitch around them? now a swing and a miss maybe even a foul tip but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two so next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa a hit in two tries so far and strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Here's Randall Gritchick, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. The 2-2. Two -two. Pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Yeah, Matty B, that magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty easily so far in this one. Yeah, they've, he's given him some serious depth in this one. For him to get into the seventh inning allows the manager a lot of leeway, whether he wants to go to his bullpen or not. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a liner. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second now out. Batting. Now batting, Billy, Billy McKinney. Couple of oh, ground outs Eddie. on his batting line in two trips so far. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. He's got it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Now in the box, Josh Reddick. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 2-1. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. 
So coming to the plate, Garrett Stubbs. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The one two is taken for ball two. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he'll make it to third base safely with only one out as the go-ahead run. Jordan Bamano gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. To the plate now, Michael Brantley. Fastball called strike, one and two. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, Deaver, with the runner in scoring position. And Sack Fly brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 nothing lead. The third base at the two. At the plate now, Alex Bregman. Two balls and a strike. One out, one on, and a one run game. Fouled off. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? Oh, and he has some trouble with it. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Two out with a man at first. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. So digging in now, Kevin Biggio. He was a ground out victim last time up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now back. And now back to the leadoff number spot, the Blue Jays lineup. And stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. He singled his last time up. Fly ball out toward left center field. Brantley is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. At the plate, now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Frankie ready now. The 1-1. Nope, inside, ball two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. No hits to this point. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Hit sharply on the ground. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. The first base number 10. Yuli So now to the plate, Yuli Guriel. Hard liner towards short. In there, a base hit. The center field number four. 
Into the box, George Springer. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Thomas Pannone is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Carlos Correa will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. Ready with the two and two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. One run scores. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3 0 game. Now back, the right fielder, Josh Reddick. Stepping in now, Josh Reddick. And he'll take strike three called. And he needed that one badly on the mound. One away. Into the box, Garrett, Garrett Stubbs. Stubbs. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's set. Here comes the one one. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Hernandez is there and he'll bring this one in. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. now the left Big field. spot here. Michael. First and second. Two men gone. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. The three one. Oh, that one deflects off him. I think it got his arm. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Roberto Ozuna enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 54, Roberto. Stepping up now, Lourdes Gurriel. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. A not impossible but highly improbable even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy they've got the work cut out for him swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here one away now back and now the Toronto number four hitter to Oscar Hernandez he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time and he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first Protect two the men he faces out of the bullpen. The designated hitter. Oh. Yeah. Ready with the one and one. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Astros will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Houston Astros came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Zach Grinke earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Chase Anderson is settled with the loss after giving up only one earned. Roberto Ozuna records the save, his 13th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and, and our entire the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching Victoria MLB Castro. The Show. For Three more, make your way over to theshownation.com. For the Blue Jays, no run, four hits, no errors. They left six men on base. The winning pitcher is Zach Greinke. His record is now six and one. The loss goes to Chase Anderson. He goes to four and three. Time of the ball game, two hours and 34 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.